Hello everybody, my name is Desuko, and welcome back to day four of Daily Uploads Week. I hope, I, I hope, I'm redoing that. I hope that you've enjoyed my thoughts on a couple of the battle songs that I've been flipping so far. In this one, I'm talking about what is quite possibly the most Bala song, Bala song that ever Bala song. This is the Crackerackin by Squid Industries. Very, is it the Crake Rakin? The Crakey Rakey? Crakey Rakin. I'm sure almost everyone will know what this Bala song is. It's like the gold standard of Bala songs. You got 7075 aluminum channel handles. You got a steel blade. You know, it's it's in the like 100 to or 150 to 200 dollar price range, depending on whether you get it secondhand or whatever. It's just all around a good classic, boring old regular Bala song, and I think that's a lot of the appeal uh, for the Kraken. Just comes from the fact that it's kind of uh, created itself as a standard in the Bala song community. Um, you got a bunch of different blade options, you know, you got the live blades, you got the buoy, the tanto, the, the Weehawk Kraken, which is the new one, um, as well as these great uh, third-party reblades, uh, like this one I got on here, which is the hour Hourglass Blade, as well as Blocks Toys, who's like building whole new Bala songs based on the Kraken platform, which is definitely a really cool concept. Uh, like, we saw it with the Rep, another pretty golden standard of Bala songs, that just over time has gained so many mods for it that you can literally basically classify it as a whole new Bala song. Um, but it always still has that same unique charm. And that's something that I think that the Krakraken has. Even though I got this Kraken for $90 with unfixable tap, a drilled out pivot hole, and uh, quite possibly some of the worst speed channels you've ever seen, Except for maybe Atlanta Toxics on ETH, or on Ty's Kraken. <laughs> Shots fired. But yeah, the Kraken, just in general, is a good flipper. It carries momentum well. I just dropped it, of course, right when I'm talking about that. It carries momentum well. It feels nice for an aluminum ballast song. It has a pretty decent amount of grip. Um, it has jimping. You got Zen pins, very standard, but also, you know, old, reliable, hold up well to the test of time. Um, it's just overall a good ballast song. And I think that having gold standard ballast songs for the ballast song community are a good thing and a bad thing. On one hand, it gives people kind of a basis to go off of. If you're designing a new Bala song and you want to know what's good, you could, you know, base it off of something like the Kraken or the Rep, kind of uh, have similar constraints to it, because um, you know that people like that, you know that it's going to flip good. Um, and yeah, you can just use it as a standard kind of measurement. But at the same time, I think that it can take away from some of the uh, individualism individual expression uh, that's prominent in the Balasong community. A lot of it, like with other skill toys, it's just kind of preference-based. It's like, do you want heavy titanium sandwich die, or do you want light channel G10 trainer dude, you know? It really kind of depends on the person, but I think that having standards, while is nice to kind of solidify what a good Balasong is, also can take away from some of that expression. Um, there was a, a, a very long dispute with the uh, Krakerakin 2.5 trainer blade, where people were just like, oh, if you have the Krakey Reiki 2.5, you suck and you're bad, and if you think that it's good, you, you're wrong. Get the Tonto, get the buoy. And it's like, man, come on. There's people like Telester out here who for some reason enjoy it. <laughs> I actually haven't tried the 2.5 Kraken, so I am unsure of how it flips. Um, but yeah, having a standard, while it promotes kind of a good flipper for the being the golden standard of Bala songs, it, it can take away from the individual expression. People have stuff that are like different, and they're like, oh, that's weird. 
I don't like that. This is bad. It's not like the Kraken. It's not dead neutral. It's not perfect, so I don't like it. And I don't think that that is good for the community. Um, you know, I mean, Squid got their start doing weird stuff. You know, they made the Squid Trainer. People are like, you can't put a song on aluminum. Are you stupid? And then he did it. And now it's like literally 70% of most ballast songs on the market that are readily available are channel aluminum. They are, ha they do have Zen pins. They do have a steel blade. It's, it, it, it has grown itself to be such a standard platform thanks to Squid Industries that it's almost kind of funny seeing people be like, check it out, a titanium sandwich ballast song. And people are like, whoa, this is so new and innovative. It's like, what? That's been around for a while already, man. It's not, it's not that new. <laughs> I, I, I personally enjoyed the influx of good sandwich ballast songs that we've seen. The Orion is incredible. I honestly think it beats out basically Almost every single other ballast song in the 100 to like $170 price range. Even the uh, ones on the upper limit, just because of how good it is. Um, ballast song creators stepping away from the standard and innovating in new ways, like doing uh, sandwich, sandwich but cheap, um, is, is great to see, honestly. And it brings out a lot more opportunities for people to have new ballast song experiences. Um, yeah, I guess that's kind of my thought on innovation in the ballast song community and the concept of having standard ballast songs. Don't get me wrong, I love the Kraken. I love the rep, and I love all the mods that have come out of them. And I guess the mods, honestly, are like kind of part of the appeal of it. Obviously with the rep, that's a very large appeal of it, is customizing your rep and building it to your own and having your own preferences on it. Uh, but with the stuff like the Kraken, which is only very recently getting more support for modding, it still leaves a lot of room open for makers to try new things and kind of put their own spin on the standard construction that the Cracker Racken has. Hopefully some of that made some coherent sense. I just wanted to make a video with the Kraken, I'm gonna be honest, because this thing is just so freaking funny. It's, it's so destroyed, yet it still flips so well, which really, like, says something about the quality of Squid's battle songs. <laughs> what a great guy. I love the Kraken. And that's my thoughts on the cranky, the cranky rakey, the cranky rakey with the hourglass blade. One of my favorite flippers and a great beater. Okay, I gotta stop this video now before I just like keep going off for like an hour. Okay. Mwah.